the remarkably tough guillemots navigate the broken flows to reach open sea. Only then will the young learn to fly. In mid-August, ice fields break up around Wrangell Island. Polar bears spend much of the year out on the solid ice, but when the white land cracks, it's time to move on. Their Latin name, Ursus maritimus, means sea bear, and for good reason. Big, paddle-like paws make them strong swimmers. They have been tracked on 160 kilometer journeys. But mostly, they spend their time lying around. As the ice recedes, roaming bears have one last chance to jump off at Wrangell. Global warming has increased the time it takes for solid sea ice to form along Russia's northern coast. The ice is the lifeline for the polar bear to get food. Every year, hundreds of bears take refuge on Wrangell to await its return. Life on the island means lean pickings. But resourceful polar bears find ways to pass the time. Like any puddle-loving youngster, this young bear can't resist a shallow lagoon. And then it notices its own reflection. But something even better catches its eye. Only ever witnessed by a lucky few, a fishing polar bear. But what now? The bear has little idea how to handle its prize catch. Usually, polar bears hunt for seals out on the pack ice, but the killer instinct took over. A huge surprise for the bear. As the days grow shorter and cooler, autumn comes to wrangle, the season of the musk ox. In September, all over the island, males gather to compete for dominance. Often, two bulls of different strengths try to intimidate each other. When bulls are evenly matched, the fighting gets serious. Each weigh around 400 kilos. They can charge at up to 40 kilometers per hour. The 
impact can be heard a mile away. The force is like a car hitting a brick wall at 27 kilometers per hour. They collide at the central section of their horns, 30 centimeters wide and thicker than a brick. Bony horns are covered with a layer of keratin, the protein that also forms hair and nails. They rest on a massive skull bone. Even so, the bulls can only take so much. One will eventually tire and retreat. The winner keeps the harem. Meanwhile, as the tundra slides into autumn, the snow geese prepare to leave. Tens of thousands gather near the coast of Wrangell Island. In just six or seven weeks, tiny hatchlings have grown to over a kilo. They are ready to fly as far as 5,000 kilometers to New Mexico. As the fields grow silent, and the temperature continues to drop. The island returns to the polar bears. With no ice to hunt on, the bears are hungry. They're stuck here. They need the whole region to refreeze before they can move away. Mothers and cubs patrol the gravel banks for scraps. The youngsters stay under her protection for two and a half years. Other than when mating or caring for cubs, polar bears are solitary. If threatened, adults can charge at 40 kilometers per hour. Mothers with the youngest cubs stay on high alert. Other older cubs appear curious but need to keep their distance. Body postures are used as warnings to stay away. Mothers normally remain placid, but bad-tempered males with five-centimeter canines are best avoided. They can weigh up to 800 kilos. They take no part in raising cubs and will sometimes kill them. Females will defend their cubs if need be, but wise mothers simply avoid potential dangers. <coughs> Thankfully, the old bear is preoccupied, scouring the shore for food. In times of plenty, polar bears will eat a walrus's blubber and leave the rest. But these days, they'll take what they can get. This young male has found an old walrus skin. Tough as old boots and probably the same flavor. It'll have to make do until they return. Wrangell attracts the world's largest population of walruses. Like polar bears, they normally live on the ice. Up to 100,000 come here when the Chukchi sea ice melts.